Hi folks, I just want to talk about how to defend your faith. Uh, it says in Peter, uh, have a reason for the faith that's within you. And uh, so it's important to have, be able to defend your faith. Uh, I would say that uh, to defend the faith, first of all, know the Bible. You know, know the Word of God. Have it, study it regularly, read it regularly. Uh, secondly, know your testimony. Know about your salvation, how you came to know the Lord. Because uh, sharing your faith to people is a powerful defense of the faith. Knowing the Bible is, is, is a powerful defense of the faith. So know your Bible, read your Bible, know that you're saved, know who you are in Christ. Okay. The next thing I would encourage you to do is um, to learn uh, certain ways of defending the faith. There are a couple of apologetic ways. There's what is called the presuppositional method. And so you can ask questions like this to the skeptic. Uh, how do you know that your brain is not uh, affected by some evil demon or a computer and that the senses that you're using, how do you know that those senses aren't being tricked? The skeptic, if he's being honest or she being honest, will say, I don't know. So you say to them, well, if you don't even know that, how do you know the things that you're saying that you know? You're assuming that. And they'll say, well, how do you know? And you say, well, it's called the impossibility to the contrary. That is to say that uh, because God is faithful and has given us, cannot lie, he has made our senses reliable so they're not tricking me. The impossibility to the contrary. Now that method that I've taught you there is called the presuppositional method. And it's very effective in defending the faith. Then there's the evidential method or the minimal effect approach to the resurrection that there are basic facts uh, that you can prove or show from history about Jesus you can prove or show that Christ died on the cross Josephus a uh, Jewish historian said he died on the cross uh, uh, Pontius Pilate uh, uh, what's his name Tacitus says that he died on the cross now this is a minimal fact approach you, you can gather facts about Christ and who he was and what he did based on historical data. So those are two methods, the minimal facts approach and the presuppositional approach. Some tend to just use one. I don't use one, I use a variety of methods. Now you can learn these methods, if you want to learn the presuppositional apologetic method, go to presuppositional 101, presuppositionalism 101. There you can learn all you can about the presuppositional method. On the minimal fact approach, um, if you go and uh, onto Gary Habermas website, Gary Habermas website, and there you'll get to know the minimal fact approach to the resurrection. Those are the two apologetic methods that I use, and I use other methods as well to defend the faith. Okay.